if you look at the numbers in the next years until 2018, uh, 2.7 million manufacturing jobs, uh, people that are in manufacturing will retire. Right, so we have, we have, you could see, I, I see it as an opportunity. I mean, you have a lot of people with a lot of experience that are leaving the, 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 the workforce. At the same time, currently, we have about 300,000 jobs open in the manufacturing space here in the US alone, right? So the whole, and then the question is, I mean, what is the new job going to look like? And pretty much every, everybody projects, and I would agree with that, that about 40% and even more of those jobs in future in manufacturing will require a, a, a post-secondary education. So that gets us straight into the other discussion is how do we deal with the educational side? And I don't want to go into that. We probably to do it in the second sure. round. You know, then you come to the question of how do, you, how, how do we make it more flexible? Currently, we, I don't know how it happened, but we started with a history in the U.S. that was very flexible in education. And where we are today is everybody basically is back to the Ford model. I mean, you have K kindergarten to 12, then you go to college, and if you haven't achieved that, you're really worthless, right? So, so that's not working. I mean, I think we have to go back to our origin and say, let's make it more flexible, and let's also bring the vocational element in. You asked earlier on, where is opportunities for cooperation? I think that is where the most natural opportunity is for cooperation. In fact, it's happening already. We have a number of programs underway very successfully because you suffer from the lack of getting good people if you don't take it into your own hands. There's a big challenge there, and that is the challenge that most people today that go through an education system don't even understand what a manufacturing job looks like. The, the image that they have of a manufacturing job is that you come in early in the morning with a white shirt and you leave e in the evening with a dirty shirt, right? So and that, that's, that's, that's so far from reality, you know, and, that, and, and your hands are oily and your fingernails look dirty, you know. So that's so far from the reality today, you know, that we got to make manufacturing sexy again. And I think it starts with bringing people into our plans, make, having them look at what's really going on there, how high-tech these things are, so that young people get a feel for it.